Hi guys, Corvus here. So, you want to keep farming for those wings, but you want to try something else. In my case, uh, that's what I'm doing exactly. I really like the bar, but uh, it's getting old, and uh, before that happens completely, I'm going to try something else. I'm trying to match the best of both worlds. It's not only dash, it's a uh, tempest dash combination. Uh, I feel that it's a little bit more consistent and uh, it moves fast even when it's not dashing. So uh, I I'll show you how it works, but I, I think it's uh, a really good alternative to Barb uh, if you want to try something else. And it's uh, quite fun. Um, also, it looks uh, really, really cool. What do you think? So, okay, let's uh, move to the build and the, the items that we need for this one. In this case, uh, it can go uh, normal, uh, hardcore, uh, season, non-season. Uh, the difficulty doesn't really matter. Uh, however, because we are not using a full set, uh, you will see, uh, probably you're going to be using a lower difficulty. In this case, uh, I'm using Ferment 7. Why 7 specifically? It's my lucky number. One of my lucky numbers. So, uh, As long as it's uh, easy for you to kill the, the, the enemies, it doesn't really matter. Choose whatever you like. For the companions, probably the Templar will be the best, uh, the best one, uh, basically because uh, it helps you to generate spirit, and you want to be uh, at full spirit all the time because you want to basically keep spamming dash uh, most of the time. Uh, all the rest of the abilities don't really matter. Uh, I do recommend for him to have uh, this uh, Templar relic, uh, so you. You can use him to prevent damage, uh, also using the Unity Ring. So that means, of course, that you need to have the Unity Ring on you. Of course, uh, for the legendary gems, you want the uh, Rapid Lightning, the faster. Uh, you want one of the harder. Uh, also, uh, for these gems, be sure to have at least rank 25. If you have a uh, high rank, good, but if you don't, don't worry about it. The other gem, uh, one of the harder, uh, so if you have to backtrack and you pick gold, uh, that uh, little moments in which you are not going to be dashing, you will be moving faster. And also, uh, this will be for damage and also resistance, uh, the tag of gem, uh, or whatever it's pronounced. For the other ring and the neck, uh, we want the endless walk combination. So you will be more resistant when you move. Uh, if you stop, you will be doing more damage. So, uh, on the cube, we need basically Ring of Bridal Grandeur. Uh, so you need one last item to have benefits of sets. We have the Lyric's Crown. Um, we're using this because we want to reduce uh, costs of the spells as much as possible. So it will go with a yellow gem on the helm uh, uh, and the war staff of general climb this is basically to have a little more speed when we're uh, not dashing so for the set items uh, you can mix and match but you need uh, three pieces of the uh, patterns of justice set and three pieces of the raiment of a thousand storms why is that because uh, for the raiment of a thousand storms uh, it's going to help a lot keeping the dash and strike available. Uh, once you have the four pieces benefit, it will refund the charge. Uh, it also costs more, but will be generating a lot of spirit. So uh, it doesn't matter really. And uh, for the patterns of justice set, we're going to have the uh, two set benefit. It's going to uh, basically sweeping wind is going to have the effects of every room. Uh, so uh, we're going to have a little bit of speed from that and also spirit and the four pieces of benefit is going to help with the spirit regeneration and also uh, reduce damage so that's why uh, also we're not on uh, torment 16 uh, you will probably have to uh, measure, measure your damage to see where you can go for the weapons uh, we want the bendable wind on one hand, uh, this will uh, basically increase the stack of the sweeping wind 
uh, by 10. So uh, you will have a, a total of 13. Let me show you that. And uh, with the belt, with the Kirishiro's uh, soul, uh, you will be gaining stacks uh, no matter what. So uh, you, will, you will need to activate this uh, one time per game and you will have 13 stacks all the time. And for the other uh, weapon, uh, we want the one Kim Lao. And this will basically activate the Cyclone Strike whenever you hit anything with uh, Tempest Rush. So you are not going to be activating the Cyclone Strike, that it's going to be happening automatically. On the Bracers, we're going to have the Cesar Fermento, and this is going to make the uh, Tempest Rush hit uh, a lot harder. So yeah, that's basically all the pieces here. And now, now for the skills. If you are in Hardcore, uh, you have to take the Chip Dead, that's pretty much mandatory. If you are not on Hardcore, you can take uh, Wood Fluted to have a little bit more uh, movement speed or momentum to do more damage up to you. Uh, the other skills. Chant of Resonance, basically to generate more spirit. The Guardian's Path, more spirit and some touch. Uh, Exalted Soul, more spirit. So yeah, so basically we want a lot of spirit. For the Tempest Rush, we're going to pick the Northern Breeze rune. But this will uh, reduce the cost of the ability, so we can just uh, keep the button press and use it. And also is going to do more damage. Uh, the second strike, uh, really up to you. I prefer the implosion run, so uh, it will pull enemies from farther away to you. The dashing strike, we are going to choose Way of the Fallen Star to have a little bit of an extra movement speed after we cast it. After we cast it, we have four seconds of that. The Mystic Ally, when we activate the Air Ally, we're going to win Spirit in case. We are lacking, possibly it's not going to be necessary. Mantra of Conviction is going to give us damage, a little a movement speed whenever we kill something. And if we activate it, uh, we have uh, increased damage uh, in case we want to uh, kill a goblin or something like that. Uh, not really necessary unless you are struggling with damage. And the Sipping Wind, we're going to take the Inner Storm Rune, uh, basically to get more spirit. For the weapons, you want uh, green gems. For your chest and pants, you want diamonds. And um, yeah, for the helm, you want an angelic. Basically, you're going to be uh, using Tempest all the time, and you are just going to be using uh, the dash hood. So, pretty much you can spam it. However, in some situations, uh, you can the ability of them and wait a little bit before you swim down. But uh, that's pretty much all you need to do. If, if you happen to be low in spirit, you can use your Mystic Ally ability. If you need a little more damage, you can use your Mantra of Conviction. And yeah, that's it. So, uh, here's an example of how this works. Other thing, uh, in case you are not doing this, uh, you probably are. You go to sound and you will only be enabling the effects volume. Um, that's all you need to hear the goblins. Uh, the voice volume, the ambient volume is not necessary. Uh, the music is not necessary, so only effects. And you will be able to hear the goblins. Which maps do I recommend? I recommend the following. On that one, Southern Highlands, look for the Cave of the Moon Clan. We are both levels. After that, teleport to Northern Highlands. Uh, you can uh, find the goblin on each level there. After that, move to Weeping Hollow. Uh, you can find up to one there. Uh, then Cathedral, level one. Uh, search there. Uh, between level one and level two, the Lyric uh, Passage. Uh, search there also. If you are pretty confident that you are moving really fast, uh, you can try Cathedral level 2, 3, 4, and eventually uh, the Royal Crypts. If you are not that confident, uh, once you clear the Lyric Passage between Cathedral level 1 and 2, uh, teleport to the Royal Crypts. Then 
hack two. Sorry. Ancient waterway. You want the uh, east and west passages, uh, both levels, on, on each. And after that, you will go to Act Three. You want to go to the Bridge of Corsic, and in this case, we have the bounty. Uh, you want to clear the caverns of frost. Uh, you want to find the cave. Uh, if you find the ice cold caves, teleport. If you are confident that you're learning fast, uh, move to uh, to the crater level one. Not that confident, go directly to Tower of the Dam, then Heart of the Dam, and uh, both levels. Then teleport to Tower of the Cursed, both levels. Uh, if you are confident uh, also that you're moving fast, uh, after uh, Tower of the Dam level 2, do uh, Heart of the Dam 1 and 2, and Crater level 2. And after that, uh, the core of a rat. So that's all for Act 3. Act 4, you will clear the Silver Spider level 1, and also Gardens of Hope second tier. Uh, only these two on Act 4. Uh, Gardens of Hope Second Tire, uh, I've been finding quite a bit of comments sir. And finally, Act 5, Pandemonium Fortress Level 1 and 2. Uh, remember, if you have, find a goblin there, uh, on some part of the map, you will find a second one. Uh, also, that happens in Pandemonium Fortress Level 2. If there's happened to be a double spawn uh, of goblins, you will find uh, two groups, but it's basically the same, uh, two spans. Um, and that's pretty much it for the levels, so uh, let me show you how this works. So that's basically the run. Uh, you will be uh, getting the hang of it if you haven't tried a dash in Monk. And uh, this uh, dash uh, slash Tempest Monk it has the best of both worlds, the, the speed, uh, the ability to kill everything while you're just running, and also the dash. So mm, just try it and um, it will be a pleasant surprise, uh, hopefully. Alright guys, so that's the, the build, the dash slash Tempest Rush uh, monk build to farm for Rainbow Goblins. Uh, I'm having a blast trying it. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, and also, uh, since I'm not that knowledgeable about monks, if there's another uh, item that could improve this, uh, some tip that you have, please let me know in the comments. Also, if you like the video, please subscribe, uh, leave a like if you liked it. If you don't, leave a dislike, uh, but let me know what what can I improve. And uh, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, happy hunting and uh, lots of luck getting those links. Goodbye.